Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing and we're stuck in an underground car park. Meeting an old Fleet Street act and he's just moved the meat to somewhere else. Well, I can't even get out of here by the looks of it. I don't know what he's going to tell me but it's pretty interesting. Going off here, man. This doesn't look very good. This doesn't look very good. Thought we've been set up then, to be honest. Getting a bit paranoid in my old age. What somebody was going to set me up, fill me in. <laughs> Go on then, mate. Come on. Unbelievable, aren't there? Some people I ain't got the money, I ain't got them. Pulley, she might roll into me here. Yeah? Uh, I don't know what this guy's going to tell me, but it'd be interesting, won't it? I like a few juicy tidbits. Uh, One, you silly cow, man, turning up with no money. I've never heard that so stupid in all my life, man. Yeah, mate. Yeah. I assume cash is alright, is it, mate? I assume cash is alright, is it? Cash alright, yeah? yeah? Good man. You're getting a bit worried there. We are a woman there paying a bill for four quid on Chucky Egg. These are what's world coming to when you haven't got four quid in your motor. You're having a big smoking motor like that. Hey? Right then, here we go. Let's go to this meet and see what we can find out. See if it's so juicy. Worth a cost of coffee in it, I suppose. Plenty of time on my hands. I normally meet him up there at the top of the car park, but it's all shut off now. So we don't we don't meet. He's alright as well. I can't tell you his name. He's got a job on here, good job in Fleet Street. But it's all good positive stuff, innit? It's all boxing related, innit? It's all a bit, you know, a bit cloak and dagger today though. He's bouncing me about all over the place. Might have a bullet for me. It might be just somebody sending me uh, text wanting to set me up, set old Porky up, eh? a big bullet wouldn't they to get through me it'd bounce off me wouldn't it a little training I'm doing lately but, uh, I don't even know if I'm over the John Ryder thing and it's 3200 it's up to on my uh, computer it's probably 3000 on your computer but 3200 and uh, 34p or something. <laughs> 34 pence. So swearing, wanna? Swearing like a trooper in it. Flying flag for Team John Ryder. I mean, I'm, somebody from Hartlepool called Raymond's just texted me. He's going, well, I had it to Callum Smith by a round. Try and watch it with the sound off. I get it to. Rider by two rounds. I watched it with sound off. It was easy three rounds. You could make a case for four rounds. So, what I'm proposing to sort out all this bad judging and home bias. I mean, that's what it is basically, isn't it? Home bias. I mean, the votes that I've had in for Elmer a month are shocking for all that lot. All that shower. All that shower. The votes I've had in are astronomical, but what can you do? 
I mean, I might, it's that bad. I might even change it from Elmer at month to somewhere else. If anybody's got any ideas, answers on the postcard. Answers on the postcard. But, uh, I'm meeting him at Cumberland. I think it's down here at Cumberland, isn't it? Meet this geezer at Cumberland, and we'll uh, we'll see what's what. So, I'd like to know what's going on. I like see my man in the dam, or should I say, my mole in the hole. Best tenner I've ever spent on a couple of coffees. A few custard creams, I think, with my coffee today after that session this morning in gym. No roids for porky. I don't need roids. You roids? Jesus. Which way is it now? This way, isn't it? I've been down here for a bit. I used to live down here. I used to live down here. Oh, what's going to happen to Dave Allen now then, eh? Dave the Rave. Dave the Rave Allen. I wonder what's going to happen to him. I wonder if he'll end up on Skid Row. I wonder if he'll end up on Skiddy Row. <coughs> Skidding round corners. I doubt it because he don't drink or smoke or don't take drugs, does he? Like me. So I very much doubt it. Drugs are for mugs, boozers are cruisers. And smokers are chokers. Porky rolls. I don't like them new mercs. I don't like them now I've gone off them. I like five year old ones. I like, I'll tell you what I do like, and Tyson Fury told me this. He said if you're gonna get a car, Russ, a four wheel drive, get a Toyota Land Cruiser he reckons they're the best uh, Jeeps Toyota Land Cruisers but yeah they're last drive's Range Rover but like I said Tyson reckons Land Cruisers are the best so uh, unless his mind's changed in the last two years uh, a lot of travellers drive them don't they Toyota Land Cruisers Toyota's most reliable car in the world and then it's Honda, I think it's something to do with the electronics, isn't it? German cars tend to do the most mileage, probably because of how they made the engine components, I suppose. You get half a million miles off a of Merc if you keep changing oil, won't you? Did you see that Top Gear program where they threw it out uh, off a crane into the sea or something? That Toyota Hilux? then they've got a sanding engine and all that and it still started, didn't it? That's what I mean about electrics. So, so let's all get a Toyota and drive into the sea because we'll still be able to let engine take over. But, so I bought my kid's mum a RAV4. It's never been no problem at all. Well, again, this ain't really. So all I've spent on this is what I've tarted it up, I suppose you could say, couldn't you? Uh, fuel economy is the main thing. It's all right going out and buying a C63 Merc in it V8. How are you going to run it with miles I do? You'd be like that, wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? You'd be like Paul Smith like that when Abraham beat him, squealing like a pig for a rematch. And his trainer had it a draw. Abraham beat Paul Smith comfortably the first time. The second time he beat him even worse. And he's still got another world title shot against Zuga. The bias, do you see where I'm coming from about bias? You see another thing as well, right? I was looking at analytics this morning, right? Listen, listen to this. My channel's really small, it's like peeing in a hurricane against other channels, but 47% of people that watched my channel last week don't even subscribe. 47%. Out of 7,505 people. 47 of them aren't even subscribed. Is that because I'm not telling them to subscribe? Subscriptions don't get you paid. It's just, I think it's more of an ego thing, isn't it? But I'm doing plenty of damage, aren't I? Because everything I've been saying for months now, people, are, you want to see some of the, the 
nice comments that I get now. Obviously all the nasty ones, they all go into spam, don't they, or comments for review. So if you're going to swear, if you swear, it's not going to go on. If you swear on there, I don't get to see it. Because I have words on there that we don't want to hear. You know, awful nasty words, but... But like I said, I stopped reading them comments. We're about 18 under the summer. We're about 30 of them. God. All I'm going to say is this, right? Thank God we've got prisons in England. Thanks, God. Because there is some scary people out there. It's now under sporting icons. And Ultra Tech Sports Raw. It's no wonder they don't want to have their faces on camera. It's like me, I'm fearless, aren't I? I can't, can't beat me any uglier than I am, but can't knock any more teeth. I've only got a few left. I've already got one of ears bit off the top of it. But thank God for prisons, that's all I'm going to say. And uh, places like Rampton and Broadmoor, thank God. That's all I can say. Thank God we have places like that. What are you doing, you on your bus, mate? You're taking all road up. Jesus, you know I am. But oh, thank God we've got prisons because people sending me messages wanting to put me in ovens and things like that. I mean, I should really turn them over to old Bill, shouldn't I? I mean, this guy sent me a. Oh, some of the. Some of the stuff I get sent, you would be like gasping. You would not want to go on YouTube again, but two years down line. My first video went out 27th of November, didn't it? Two years ago nearly. So two years down the line, still here, aren't I? And you know, it, it doesn't bother me, does it? You can do all that J Lab done. This is like when it lottery, isn't it being out here every day? But So, no, oh, his cars are here. So he must be in here, he must be here. Ooh, I'm excited! So let's see what he's got to say. You're coming out at wrong entrance, love. Believable. Paying to park in Cumberland now, but everybody is in hospital and not in pub. Yeah. Well, that's not looking too good, is it? I think I just... Right, I'm going, so peace out, keep on trucking, and we'll con... This is to be continued.